What's up guys, welcome back. This is a super exciting upload because we have Nate here from Aftech and Aquatraction that just did Aquatraction on my new 219. This is actually the first time I've seen my boat this year. Um, I've been paying for it for three months. This is the first time I've seen it. My dealer dropped it off up here um, by these guys and they got after it and I can honestly say it turned out way better than I even expected. Um, I had some other friends who've had Aquatraction in their boat last year that I got to fish out of and was blown away and definitely wanted it in my new rig. So this was a pretty badass build, I would say. Um, super unique and custom. And we're gonna go through exactly why I made the features that I did and then the man with the brains behind the whole situation here to help us go through and explain kind of how this all happened. So let's jump in this thing and show you guys what's up. So basically, the cool thing, if you guys haven't heard of Aquatraction or Aftech or what they do, is it's marine map flooring. And Aquatraction basically allows me to get rid of um, any surface in my boat that I don't want to have either carpet in or any kind of snapping material um, or even like a, this is like a plastic. What kind of floor is this? Even? This is 100% uh, polyethylene. So, and that was my, I've had it in my boat in the past, it cleans up really well, but the problem is it gets really slippery with ice. Mm -hmm. um, and the biggest reason I went with the aqua traction aftech stuff was for early season and late season fishing for me the, i had a huge problem with snow and ice fishing walleye super early in the year and then musk is obviously really late in the year and we're going to go through and show you guys kind of some things that are going to make this boat perform better in those super cold temperatures but obviously it looks badass um, what nate does and what he's kind of the specialty master of is redesigning these lids okay because when you get these boats from the factory um, the carpet is actually, the lids are designed so the carpet wraps around it, right? So the Aqua Traction isn't able to wrap. So what Nate has to do there is make new lids. You can see this is a black material here versus this is standard from the factory with the fleck in it. Yep. Um, but he has to make a bigger lid in order to make all the hatches that have the Aqua Traction on it. What's nice about this is you don't get that wet carpet right after rain or snow or ice. And then what will happen is, is your lids freeze down to your glass. Yep. I've ripped carpet out of the corners of my boat. I've chipped at it with pliers. I've dumped freaking water on it to try and unthought to get into my compartments, whether it's my rod locker, my baits, my live well, any of that stuff. But this takes that all out of the equation, right? There's no more carpet in here. Um, carpet gets stained super easily. It gets dirty. You get sand that gets gritted up in there. And this is a way better system and the cool part about this too is you've got this memory foam back you guys can see how thick this stuff is it's basically the width of my finger and this stuff is super squishy and is like standing on a cloud so now my back deck here when i'm musky fishing is going to be really nice on my feet on my legs on my back mm -hmm. and allow me i think to you know, not feel the pain of fishing all day long and then i did the i call it honeycomb pattern you call it Hexagon. Hexagon. Same thing, yep. And the reason I went with that is I thought that this gave me the most amount of traction as possible. Um, in years past, so I've been fishing super late or super early in the year. My carpet is just ice and I've actually stood like in my net. So then like the hoop of my net and <laughs> everything else gives me some kind of traction so I'm not slipping and sliding and yep. go over the side. But this material here and that pattern gives me a lot of traction. Um, and the cool thing with aqua traction too is it doesn't absorb water. It's a very closed cell yep. material, right? Yep. So it, it's not going to absorb water. It's not going to get that icy buildup on it. And I felt like the honeycomb pattern was going to give me the most amount of traction for early in the season and late in the season. And it just looks sick. I think it's a badass really pattern. Um, so that was kind of what we did with the whole entire back deck. And then also if you come around this side, you'll see everything in my transom. Um, is also covered in aqua traction with this same pattern, a ton of traction. Sometimes I'll have a foot back here. If I'm going to net a fish, maybe if I got to take a leak, you get in the back deck there, it's not going to be super slippery, full of ice, um, but a little bit of added padding and traction back there, which is absolutely awesome. We want another really cool thing too, like there's so many cool options with this stuff, but the, the trim here around the gunnels and on top, is going to eliminate a lot of that scratching. It always seems like I have customers that come in the boat that want to put their foot on the rail, and it's like they've always got a stone that's like in the tread of their shoes, yep. where they've got the bottle openers in the bottom of their flip flops, and they just scratch the heck out of your glass. Whereas this protects everything. Um, also in the back, I always get scratches from my neck. 
net muskies, you put your net down on the rail here, and then your net will scratch that, but this aqua traction here is going to protect any of that stuff from happening. And the fit and finish is amazing. Like, everything is digitized with what it, the machine. Like, we'll show you guys, too, the whole system as far as, like, how Nate did all this in the back end. We're going to show you guys the whole, um, everything you went through to make this look like this. There's a ton of work. There's a lot of work. Um, I mean, first we started out getting that shitty carpet out of there. Um, from there, we got all the dimensions of the new lids, made molds, made fiberglass lids, installed them, and then digitized rock attraction and then installed. And so, this, this is the first 219 that's been this fully is, done. This is the very first Lung 219 that I've ever done. Really, yeah, super cool. One and only. It took a little bit of time with yep. the new lids, right? Because so now that you got that process out of the way, yep. it can go even a little bit quicker if someone else wants to get a 218 or Absolutely. a 202 done. Yep. Right. But just amazing fit and finish. And I went with the memory foam backer on the decks on top. Like I said, that thicker padding for back support. Um, and just a lot of really nice feel. But then on the cockpit here, I went with the standard size aqua traction, which would be how is it like a certain millimeter? About a quarter inch. Quarter inch. So what that did is it still gives me all the advantages of aqua traction as far as the grip and the material is going to clean up really nice, but it just saves me a little bit of money on the back end because the material is not quite as expensive. Correct. And when I'm down here, I'm never standing. Right? I'm either sitting in my chair driving, or if I'm ever standing, it's going to be on one of my back decks. For me, I'm not a walleye troller. Where I don't stand in my cockpit all day and watch my planer boards. So I put the memory foam backer on the decks where I'm always going to be casting, and then just to save a little bit of material, a little bit of money, I went with the, the thinner aqua traction here in the cockpit of the boat. Which, and it still looks amazing. It cleans up just as nice. You just don't have that little bit of cushion like you're walking on a cloud. Yeah. Like we have in the back and the front. It's <laughs> on that. It's oh, awesome. absolutely. It's, so it's incredible. <laughs> um, so from there, like, so actually if you guys look, the cool thing about the 219, I talk about this a lot, is you have the side compartments, the side storage, the pods. And right here we took them out. And what Nate did is he, did the whole entire floor because we're going to put in some just in case boxes here um, but he basically laid this all out but what i needed him to do also was to do the hatches so for resale um, someone has those if they want to go that route um, and also put those in and actually guys look here back behind the boat i've got them out but they're sitting there on the floor i can throw those in at any point and we did the honeycomb pattern on that as well with the memory foam backer so it looked really nice and matched Another really cool thing that, I don't know if you guys have done this before, but it was an issue I had with this boat or some, something I wanted to try and change was on my passenger side of my console, there's this piece here and it was flat. If you look on the driver's side, it's got some, somewhat of a rim on it. I can put my phone up here or like a scale. It just, it just accumulates stuff up in this area, right? And it's nice because it, it gets it's all held in. Whereas on the passenger side, it was always flat. But I had Nate digitize this area, and then this is a 12 mil, yep, that's 12 millimeter piece of aqua traction, and then milled it down here so that I actually have a nice rim. So you have your phone on you? Yep. So you take your phone, you throw it on there, right? There's a, an edge or a rim for it to sit against so it doesn't slide. So it would always go there, and then you keep flying down the lake, and then it would slide over and then fall down into the cockpit. But this was awesome. I love this piece, so a lot of times I'll put my customers have their phone up there. I put battery packs up here. Then I run GoPros up here. So just having that so that stuff isn't slipping and sliding all over is awesome. And then Nate, thinking, I don't think brain that he has, put in these little tracks in here too so that any water that gets in here will run down and then it'll actually flow out of there. So if you get any overspray from waves or any like sideways rain where there's water that puddles in here, it goes out these two channels so that there's not standing water in here, which is super smart. All right, so the other really cool thing was, and I want to put a little bit of a personal touch on this as my boat, is I had my new logo here etched right into the aqua traction itself. Super cool. That's the musky I had stocked and do for me. Looks awesome. The detail your machine gets is like incredible. Yeah. So we did that there with the honeycomb pattern. It does kind of, I don't want to say, like, customers don't hit their foot on it. There's generally not scratches here, but it was just... It's gonna look really nice, another piece of awesome aqua traction, just to kind of protect the glass overall. Um, but then we get up to the front deck, which is massive, and what I really love about the T19. And then Nathan also put the Thorn Brothers logo on the Rob Very fitting, it's gonna be full of Thorn Customs. 
Um, and then this whole front compartment here has that memory foam back. You guys can see how thick that is. If you look, this is the new lid that Nate put in, the black, and then this here is the memory foam with the aqua traction on top. And then we got the form logo up in front, which is absolutely awesome. And then up here again, so the memory foam, it's like standing on a cloud. The other really cool thing that Nate did is with the one, when they use 219, they come with a cup holder in the front corner right here. There's a cup holder and then there's three tool holders. And I always hated that being there due to the fact that when I fish muskies, we always fish off of the left side of the boat. So I'll have a customer up here and with that cup holder there, it always made them want to push back further this way and then it would make the second person in the boat feel a lot more tight and wouldn't give them as much space. So he basically took that out, filled in the fiberglass. You just pour fiberglass in or how did you fill it? Uh, so what we did is I put a, a backer plate on it and then um, I put a fiberglass bond out. And I bonded it all in, sanded it all smooth. So then when we put aqua traction over top of it, we'll just cover up those holes. Right, which is awesome. So that was something that was really cool that I thought was, was nice to get that out of there. Um, it seems like these new boats, I take more stuff off of it than I do actually put on it sometimes. And then I, these boats come with rails on the side, like a four foot rail. I had Nate pull those off as well and then put aqua traction over that. Um, the rails, in my opinion, just get in the way and I'd rather have them out and they're not in the way for people that are figure eighting or if we want to lay the net down up here, you don't have a rail that's in your way. It just makes the boat look a lot more clean, yeah. I think, on top. And one th I, I love, this was the last kind of thing we put on. This is just a flush plate for generally where some people will flush mount electronics. Um, I don't ever have any graphs up here, so I had Nate put in the Aqua Traction logo, a little bit of honeycomb digitized in, looks super nice, and I think was a great piece to kind of make the front deck all come together. And then I also love the fact that I have the Aqua Traction up here where my trolling motor is going to get mounted. So if I come to stand up here when it's icy out, I can put one foot here, grab my trolling motor, I don't have to worry about any ice buildup or something there, I'm going to slip off fall in any of that stuff and this whole edge and the rim of aqua traction around my goggles is just incredible so the other one really cool thing or something that i have an issue with um, fishing big water green bay lake of the woods giant waves is i get this you get flex in a boat it happens with all fiberglass boats they flex in big waves um, but i always run my rods on the right side of the boat here on the starboard side and where this console actually meets the outside of the boat you'll see this this seam right here and what would happen with the flexing is that seam would open up and then my rod, rods that are laying here, the line would get pinched in there and then it'd be a huge pain. So Nate covered that up so that if I lay rods here, the line isn't going to get pinched in there. We don't have to worry about any of that. And then also the aqua traction here is going to help protect my rods from getting scratched or beat up so we can keep my customs looking nice and clean. Yep. The other part of it was I didn't want to do like a full honeycomb would have been too much, right? That's just a lot to the eye, but I really like the contour lines, the topo map. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it looked really nice. It brought it all to life. Um, just to kind of add a secondary touch to it. But the main part was having the honeycomb anywhere that you would stand to have the most amount of traction as possible. Mm -hmm. I thought it was super cool. So the other part of this boat, which isn't done yet, I still have to bug Nate for this, is we're gonna get some just in case boxes put in the back. And the beauty of that is we're gonna be able to put aqua traction then on top of our just in case box. So we're going to have just in case storage across the whole back here and then we're going to put some more aqua traction with the memory foam backer on it so we'll have a nice cushioned deck here in the back all my musky bait storage um, and then all my wallet baits and smallmouth baits as well we'll go in here because i'll have the lift outs for my just in case box there'll be one here that stays in year round for regardless of whatever species we're fishing and then i'll have a secondary box that's going to go all the way across for just musky storage once we get into you know, the summer and then into the fall, and basically when all fish don't matter besides muskies. Um, we'll have a full just in case box layout here um, for that whole system, which I'm super stoked about. And then we're going to put aqua traction on top of that, probably throw a little, maybe a just in case logo or something on top for Bob. Um, but this is the coolest freaking boat I've ever owned. And like you guys, like what I had envisioned this boat being, you guys took it to like another level. Awesome. I greatly appreciate it. 
So this is cool guys, because this company, I would say is growing overall incredibly fast. Yep. And the cool thing is that you guys come to the customer. Now in this specific case, I had to come to you in order to get these lids done. Yep. But for anyone else that wants to get aqua traction done in their boat, you guys will drive to them, bring your machine, digitize the whole boat, and then the turnaround time on is actually super impressive. Yeah. Yeah, so if it's like, say if a, a Lund 219 floor, just to do the cockpit, um, either we would go to you, you would come to us, we'd figure that out. But um, it was a quick digital scan, probably about an hour, all said and done. And then um, from there, we'll take that file, put in these contour lines, a logo, whatever you want. Then from there, um, we'll CNC fabricate it, either ship it to you or we'll come back down to install. All that whole process takes less than two weeks max. Just crazy. Yeah. And like the, you guys as the customer get to you know, customize all the colors you want, the patterns you want. Um, we should, can you grab that piece? So this guys is, I don't, is this even, is this all of the options or just some of them? These are um, most, we actually did launch some new colors. One that I'm super excited about is uh, charcoal gray, which is this top color and then a royal blue. Ooh. And so that one's gonna be, that one's gonna be mean. Oh, sure, yeah. But like, and you should have different, as far as this is the 12 mil stuff. Yep. You got textured floor as well, which I thought, I almost thought about doing. Yep. Um, for um, some more added traction, but then I almost went too with like a digital camo or you know, this camo just to kind of hide any kind of dirt rain that would get in the floor. But the beauty of this yep. stuff is it cleans up so well. Yep. Right? Like you can literally take a pressure washer to this thing. Yep and clean it up. Um, musky blood, walleye slime, all that stuff. But just like the different patterns and textures and everything else you guys can do is just absolutely incredible. So, so cool. This, the specific color that I did here is black over driftwood. Um, I was kind of stuck between these two colors. I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do. But with aqua traction, the cool thing too is people are like, oh, why'd you get a black floor? Like it's gonna get super hot. Um, I love to fish barefoot and I fish muskies obviously a ton in the summer. But with your guys' product, it doesn't absorb heat, which I think is crazy. Not, not at all. Yeah, kind of a little a story was, uh, we had a fisherman fishing on Mille Lacs. It was 100 degrees out. He had a laser temp gun. He scanned the gel coat, it was 165. He scanned the carpet, and it was 135. And he scanned the aqua traction, and it was 105. So it only raises the temperature about five degrees from the environment. That's insane. That is like, crazy. You would expect this floor to be super hot and just burn your foot in the summer, but it's actually going to stay really cool. Yep. And he had a solid black floor as well, which is crazy. Yeah. And that's yep. insane. And so the, and even that, so that being said, I did want to go with black because it does match the outside of my boat really nice. Yep. But black is obviously going to absorb as much sunlight as possible yep. versus say if we were to do a white floor. Mm -hmm. um, but then going back to like wanting to fish early in the year, late in the year, if we do get any kind of sunlight or we get it around the freezing temperature, mm -hmm. the black would help it warm up just a touch yep. to melt any of that ice that was around. But it's not like it's going to be a 50 degree difference, like a white floor or carpet isn't going to be any cooler. This is actually going to be cooler than the carpet, which is crazy. Yeah, that's not very, very unheard of. And the other thing, like the, so there's st these stainless steel plates, remember these yep. around those? Um, this is basically a seat pedestal and there's a stainless steel plate that's right here. And these things get so freaking hot in the summer. I'd always, I'd back up to the one on this side, like I'd always step on it when I'm fishing barefoot and you'd really like burn your foot. Yep. But now with the aqua traction, like that eliminates any of that. And even the hinges too, because now they're recessed. Yep. So that unless my heel goes in there, like you're never going to touch that stuff or burn your foot on any of that. Like even like, yeah, this is the tool, the same tool holder that was up in the front that I had Nate take out, but like, the detail and going around all of this perfectly around the screws i can put all my pliers in here my um, split ring pliers i generally just throw a pile of split rings in here for musky baits or just random this is kind of my junk pile that i throw in there but like the attention to detail with all of this is just so perfect and like everything is just as clean as it can possibly get it it's literally crazy what you guys can do that's nuts <laughs> it's so cool so freaking cool so we're going to show you guys quicker. Nate actually took a bunch of videos and clips kind of explaining the whole entire process as I was in Canada fishing Lake Trout um, of yeah. all the hard work and late nights he was putting in here at the shop. So I want to show you guys all those clips right now um, so you guys can kind of get an insight of what Nate exactly has to do to do a floor like this. Mm -hmm. um, the amount of time and energy and labor that goes into it. Yeah. 
um, and kind of show you guys a behind the scenes look of exactly what is being done to the boat and the digitizing and like the cutting of the floor and like everything is just so crazy to me yep. of like, how precise and high tech it is for just a dumb fisherman. Like. <laughs> All right guys, there you have it, a full install on my new Lund 219, and I can't say enough good things about aqua traction itself. If this is something you guys are interested in a boat for yourself, whether it's a fishing boat, a pleasure boat, a pontoon, uh, a kayak, I mean a kayak, there's a ton of different applications for aqua traction regardless 
of you know where you put it or what you do with it. Nate has it in his bathroom of his house, which is absolutely insane. But check out the website, aquatraction.com. It is super simple to navigate. Uh, it's a really nice looking website. You can find a dealer, enter your zip code. It'll give you the closest dealer to you and the dealers will come to you. The service with this business is absolutely incredible and I've just been blown away with it as a whole. So if you guys are looking to get some aqua traction in your boat or have any questions, visit the website and you can find all the answers you need right there. So thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. We'll see you on the next one.